you give me a character description? Mm -hmm. well, me. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I play uh, Detective here from Vega, who who is um, who is assigned after uh, shortly after after Britain's uh, car accident. He gets assigned and promoted to be a, a, uh, a detective and gets assigned to be uh, Michael Britton's partner. Um, one of the main purposes of, of my, my promotion, <coughs> one of the main purposes of me uh, being his partner is to report somewhat, you know, uh, his behavior, you know, how is he doing and all that. But, but later I find myself in this very fine, in this double-edged, you know, fine line where, you know, how much am I really, you know, being part of this assignment and then at the same time being his true partner and loyal partner when we're out in the field and um, and or am I part of a bigger picture you know is there something else that spawned from this accident that that he is uh, a key player in the journey of it all so <clears throat> you know so I find myself in and with, with a character that that is growing that even though Michael Britton's you know, uh, situational and, and odd way of solving cases, you know, uh, makes me question certain things at the same time as a rookie and him as a senior officer, as a someone that that has done amazing things within the department, <clears throat> you, I kind of take a back seat at it and I say, okay, well, I'm going to ride with this because I got to trust you. This doesn't really make sense to me right now, but I'm going to ride with it because you probably know better than me right now, you know? So it's so it's a really interesting dynamic between him and I. And, and the other reality I play in LAP, the officer who's eager to learn, who wants to, you know, who definitely wants to wants that promotion, you know? And, and uh, it's, a, it's a very unique, exciting, you know, character uh, to be able to go through two realities in one episode, uh, multiple episodes, is uh, something that very few actors get to do. So for me, it's a, it's a really fun, fun time. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, in, in in one reality, I'm his partner, and I've been his partner for years. And we've been together for 15 or more, uh, doing this job together, detective. So you have a familiarity, and you have sort of a a, a closer than family tie together, and and I've been part of that. And in the other reality, I've been replaced by him as the partner, and I'm still around, but. I'm his best friend. I'm still his confidant, and I am very leery of him and his situation and why they push me out. But at the same time, we let it ride because this is what happens um, with the bureaucracy of the police force. So we let it go. That's my shorter version. <clears throat> what can you guys tell us about how the story developed and like your characters in particular? How they develop? What you mean? I guess like the story in general and kind of like how your role plays a part in that, kind of like the dual life thing and all of that. I, think, I mean, I think our characters uh, are meant to really support and complement <coughs> his emotional journey. And I think ultimately, you know, maybe both of us or one of us, you know, um, you know, uh, are, you know are, are, are there for a purpose in his dream. You know, so I think that aside from us living our reality as real as it is to us, you know, I think ultimately it's, um, we're part of, 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 a, of a bigger picture and a bigger journey to basically complement who he's becoming and, and what he's learned to that eventually will be his 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 his, his life. Um, individually as characters, you know, I think that we all live a unique, you know, and individual lives, separate uh -huh. and independent of, of Michael uh -huh. Britton, that eventually you will eventually experience, so it'll be a more complex world, or per se a more complex dream, where, um, uh, where, where you know, where you'll learn to, to live in and love in, and you're invested in all these characters, you know, um, that eventually, um, you know, becomes part of your family. You know, and uh, and you know, and and that's what we are. You know, we are a family. You know, and in this department, you know, we don't see eye to eye in certain things, or we don't really necessarily cross paths in different realities. Yeah. But we are there to to aid him in his moment of, uh, of puzzle. Now, do your characters will they ever find out that he has this parallel type of dream? We don't know, and that's the beauty of it. We don't. We don't know. Uh, the possibilities are there. You know, like he was saying, that there is a bigger picture surrounding the accident that you first see and that you see in the uh, uh, part of the episode. Um, that is, as it as like an onion, as you peel it back, you're going to see more layers to it. You're going to see what's going on, things that have happened, things that may not be quite things may be exactly how they seem, um, and you have that. And I think that uh, both Kyle and Howard 
are cognizant of making that dual world as real for you as possible so that you don't get tipped off to, oh, okay, I know this world is this and that world that, which would take you to another place, you know. So uh, they're very well, they're very good at, at riding that fine line, letting us play, and hopefully letting the show breathe because that's what you need when you have a show like this. you got to have breathe so people can come in and just sort of inhale it and sort of ride. Mm -hmm. so you guys so have, oh, sorry. You have Aside from having different positions <coughs> in each in each world, do you feel like the characters are different from each other, one place to another, or or is? Are you, are you talking about my character different from him, or are you talking about no. my character different in either world? In either world, other than the position that you have on the force. Uh, well, uh, we're going to pan maybe. that out. Views maybe like yeah. you know, certain views that that influences storyline. And, and also, it's going to be. Uh, and I, once again, I'll point out as this opens up, because when you think of uh, the reality, and one reality, his wife is alive, and the other reality, his son is alive, and in both realities, I know both his wife and son. So I have to play that dynamic. So you know, in one situation, I'm asking him about how's your son holding up. In the next situation, I know he's, you know, things that may not be as cool at home as they should be, and I'm riding with that. You know, it causes you to be a different person in his life. And in one situation, I'm with him the entire time because I'm his partner. So we can have these conversations, mm -hmm. these private conversations about what's going on with him, never letting on that he has another life, of course. But right. we can have these private conversations, which have us stay close together and we share and then, like I think, like Will was saying, as it progresses, you will see that you will open up in these worlds and realize that we aren't just his partners. That we have our own lives that will affect him, have have affected the show, and you'll see how that evolves. So yeah. Which world are you in? Are you where his son died or his uh, wife died as his partner? Uh, his wife is dead. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. I'm with the man and the wife is dead. The, the son is alive and kick it. Do you guys have any theory on like which one is real or kind of? Theory? Uh, let me tell you, I'm always going to theorize that. <laughs> My world is real, is what I'm going to theorize. <laughs> but but uh, uh, no, you, you know what? The, the, the fact of the matter is, is that either one could be real. Maybe, maybe neither one could be real. Hmm. I mean, that's the reality of the case. But I, I think that really, hopefully, that we hope is a, a drawstring that if you were a person and you had the choice. Does my wife die? Does my son die? Or can I live in a world where both of them are alive, whether that means for me going quite bonkers or not? Yeah. I think that 95% of the people would choose to have both alive. And I think that when you really get, if you ever get, if we ever touch that sensibility, you won't leave. What's it been like working with the cast? Um, okay, joke number one. Awful. <laughs> um, no, it's been it's been inspiring. It's been great. It's been encouraging. You know, uh, empowering. You know, I, I have to say, uh, you know, I wasn't planning on coming back to TV anytime soon. Mm -hmm. You know, I I put <clears throat> such a eight year, two hundred episode, twenty five episode a season chapter behind me you know that I was excited to do my movies and I know that you've got a few series and you do a bunch of movies as well and and uh, and you know been producing and creating and stuff like that. and that's been really fulfilling but <clears throat> you know the opportunity came across my desk you know I read this thing three times and then I asked who is doing this and I said Howard Gordon and Kyle Kidd and they said I said who else is started and they said Jason Isaacs and Jason Isaacs thing was one of the first ones to test to it and I said immediately <laughs> love this guy he's amazing and then just this incredible ama amount of, of, of just groundbreaking performers you know just bond mm -hmm. together to, to tell this story and uh, I just wanted to be a part of it man and so so just to answer your question you know we feel I, I don't know I feel very fortunate and very excited to be in a show that is so unique and so different and so fun and original um, something that television hasn't necessarily seen a, a concept that that puts these characters and, and these actors and and very challenging and fun and, and thrilling you know a you know, journeys, so it's fun. Yeah, and if you want to go back to television, uh, right. especially in a situation where, uh, we have, where we've been fortunate enough to have series that have run for quite a bit of time, you want something that you can play with, mm -hmm. something that you, you hope, number one, that people really want to see. 
that they get involved with and they attach up to. But when you're reading it, you have to believe that that's part of the case. Now you're doing the execution, and hopefully in the execution it turns out that way. But either way, when you sign up, you're signing up because you think this is something that you can live with, you can grow with, and, 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 and you hope that it will mark television as something that people genuinely want to sit down, uh, watch, and then talk about. Whether you TiVo it, whether you watch it live, because, you know, back in my day, TiVo wasn't out just yet. So now you, now you can do that, but we want you to sit on down and be able, on Monday, on Tuesday or when, whatever night we actually get on in the next night, we want you talking about it. And we'll say, did you, what? Did you see what? Yeah, uh-huh. I t I had to watch it again. And we want you to be a part of it, and we want that to grow. So whenever given this particular, as he pointed out already, opportunity to be with these group of people uh, in, in this scenario, uh, you would take that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You would take it. And I think anybody would ever form a work day in and they had this opportunity and they said, okay, you can be with these people here and you get a chance to play, yeah. you're going to be with those people. No, and you get this opportunity to, you know, Jason, Steve, and I are three very different human beings. Yeah. But tossed together in this scenario where we're literally fighting and living for the common goal, you know, has brought us back together so great. And, and there's just amazing people. Steve is hilarious and he's amazing. And Jason is so charming and, and talented. And, uh, he's saying that just for y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, he's terrible to work by. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, but it, but it's, it's fun, man. We're having a good time. And I got to tell you, like, and now I can say I'm not a cop, but I play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's really cool. I mean, until I'm telling you, catching the bad guys is definitely very rewarding. Which of the two worlds do you prefer? Um, it's hard to prefer one when you're, you know, the one you're living is your reality, you right? So, I mean, it's, 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 I can't, for my characters, there's two different worlds, and in this, in their worlds, it's, it is what it is. It is what it's going to be. It is what is in front of them. But for you, you as a performer, what do you enjoy playing that part? Well, we prefer, prefer the one that allows us to play the most of that right. any given day. I mean, that's right. just, I mean, that's that's the one. So he would prefer the one where he's the partner, I prefer the one where I'm the partner. Now, in that being, that's just because on, on when you're doing that, you know you're actively involved in what's going on. Fortunately for us, every episode has that. Right. But but if you had to choose one, you would choose that because it gave you the greatest amount of because we're still actors, and we still want to play. Mm -hmm. This is this is what we do, and, uh, and you have to do it. You have to really <laughs> sort of dig it, right. in order to do television and do it well. You gotta dig it. So you would want that. Uh, that being said, as you start developing what's opening up, your character may live largest in the other reality mm -hmm. because he may be totally different <clears throat> from everything you have sort of decided Detective Freeman is, you know, he may be totally different as you decided from what Detective he is in that other world when he's a, just an LAPD cop, he may be doing something totally different we don't know about, but I'm just his friend now, we don't really know what I might be up to. So as it starts to open up, you may see things that just sort of throw you for, wait a minute, that's not how he really is, and in each reality, you know, you, you have to sort of go with it. Uh, well, but obviously this is your first time back in TV, and Ashton's back too. Mm -hmm. Did you guys kind of discuss going back, you know, to TV? <coughs> or was it kind of just a coincidence? No, to be honest, <coughs> um, it was all a really funny coincidence, you know. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm very proud of everything that the Castle 70 show has done. We've, we've um, you know, I, I guess against all odds for television casts, you know, we. I guess we fell in a really interesting chapter of in Hollywood where we, we could do anything we wanted to do. And I felt like we were in this fortunate seat where we could say, we want to produce, and we produce. I want to direct, I want to direct. You know, I want to I wanna take a couple years off, take a couple years off. And we were very blessed to be there. So naturally, as workaholics and someone that, as people that enjoy being in a series, I think that somehow we found our way home somehow, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of Laura Prepon, you know, it's got a show on NBC, but I'm really proud of Danny, you know, something else in development, I mean, and, and, and Ashton, you know, I mean, I, I tell you, we, we've been best friends and family for over a decade, and um, that's the longest 
you know, and it's the longest, uh, you know, running friendship or family, you know, and, and it's, uh, you know, we're just very proud of each other. Like, I, I don't know where else to tell you except because everybody knows how and I feel about it. And you also follow them. You know, when, when you've lived as long as you live with a group of people on TV, right. uh, knowing Dylan is on American Horror Story, yeah, that's right. knowing that, that uh, Kelly did a lot of it, knowing that uh, Lisa Gay is on the double show with Andre Brower, and I forgot the name, it's on cable. You, you, you know what shows they are on, you know, knowing that Michael Bartolucco was doing a guest thing, doing a thing kind of on chaos, but it was on for a time. You never let it go because you guys, especially, he was younger, you were younger than me when he did his thing, but you start out together. Yeah. You've grown on a show like that, and, and you can't ever forget those first, those years when you grew together. And so, I'm never not far away from watching what's going on, what movies they're in, what, what television show they're in, um, how they're doing. You're never that far away from it. Right. And it's always a time. Well, at this time, all of you are going to be on different networks. You guys are on NBC. Laura's going to be on ABC. Um, Mila's, you know, on Fox or the NBC. Laura will be on NBC as well. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're on the same network, which is really funny because we start out the out and we're like, hey, we're There's not like a big sign that says Fox behind us. <laughs> you know, for, but it was very exciting to see you there. Was it, is there any kind of like multi rivalry that's going to be with all No, of no, no, no rivalry. No rivalry. We're, we're, just, we're just happy to, doing, to be doing things we love. You know, be, to be able to come back and do something that we like and not having to be in a show that you're just like, oh, <laughs> we don't know if it's going to be funny, we don't know if it's going to be good or whatever, then we're in a very blessed position. So we're just happy to be back in, in, in people's homes. So, Volmer, um, we know that the show's a drama, but we know that through that 70 show you're a comedic genius. Oh, um, <laughs> are they going to be utilizing that? Are you going to have any kind of funny moments, little one-liners here or there? Yeah, no. I, I mean, hope so. I mean, I'll tell you what, like... I love playing drama, and we've we've had some really dramatic, amazing, intense action stuff that I've done with Jason through this show. But you know, my blood boils when there is a when there is a, an instant where I can just beef it up a little <laughs> and I can ham it up a little. I definitely go for it. So trust me. Um, <clears throat> there is no comedic relief in the show. I will make the statement: there is no comedic relief. There's no psychic on the show. But trust me when I tell you, you're gonna laugh sometimes. Because <laughs> by the way, Steve is hilarious. So Once again, not true. No, come on. <laughs> but he's he's really funny. So like the the amazing thing of developing the relationships for our characters is that we allow ourselves to be a true camaraderie. A true, you know, partnership among cops, and there's a lot of humor mm -hmm. behind yes. that. So we try to infuse as much as we can into it, and that's where I think I can sneak in a little bit of, of my comedy. And did you guys do any kind of ride-alongs or anything to oh, kind yeah. of prep for your role? Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. Stuff. For sure, for sure. I mean, I, I you know, I, I've been a fan of the armed forces for a long time. I've done USO tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. I love anything that is. Uh, protecting, you know, our citizens and all that. So, so to be playing something like this and be able to go and ride along and get to know everyone and, you know, play play a cop, you know, is 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 uh, something you want to do right for all those men and women who are out there. You don't ever want to do something on television and people look at you and you go, oh, I don't stand like that or I don't talk like that or I don't hold a gun like that or I don't run like that. Or, you know what I mean? Or like, it's from like the little details, which is like, how do you? You know, where do you put your badge? Where do you put your things? Where is the most comfortable? Because if you will take off running with the car, you don't. It's not that it looks pretty. It's just gotta be comfortable. It's gotta be efficient. You know, so all these little things, you know, take you on the ride alongs and take you on this many chats with detectives and and look at cases after cases after cases and how you interpret them based on your character.